Hey guys, welcome to Bluff Check. Today I'm just going to be telling a story from one of my adventures in D&D. This was actually my first ever game, and I was playing a gnome bard by the name of Fudwick. Fudwick was a chaotic neutral bard who was very playful and carefree, but occasionally a little self-centered and definitely had his fair share of hubris. There was a suspicious barn nearby, and so our party decided to go check it out. When we got there, there were some guards who attacked us. After taking them down and tying them up behind some bushes, the owners of the barn came out to see what was going on. Fudwick popped out, and he let them know that we were just a band of comedians who were performing a rowdy scene and that they needn't worry about what was happening. Well, Fudwick was quite charming, so not only did they buy it, they invited him in for food, and being the carefree and cocky gnome that he is, Fudwick decided to take them up on that offer. Fudwick hadn't returned in a while, so the party decided to keep going on their quest. They went to investigate the barn, and they found that it had lots of guards inside of it. So, after carefully planning, they decided to climb up through a window into a loft in the barn and to attack them by surprise. While they were planning this, Fudwick woke up in a cage in a cellar. Apparently, the food he'd eaten had some stuff in it that he didn't intend to be eating. But Fudwick, of nimble hands and nimble mind, quickly broke out of the cell and tried to find his way out of the dungeon complex. He wandered around and he saw all sorts of interesting rooms with interesting things, including a room with two bugbears chained to a post, and he decided that he would rather not investigate that room just yet. While Fudwick was exploring the dungeon, the party was almost ready to execute their surprise attack on the guards within the barn. Fudwick was looking around and eventually found a ladder with a slatted wooden door, like a trap door, and light streaming down from it. So he decided that he should climb up because that's probably the exit. So Fudwick climbs the ladder and then pushes the door open to find himself in a barn surrounded by guards. Needless to say, the party had to jump into their plan a little bit earlier than they intended. Now, Fudwick wasn't in a great place being surrounded by guards. He wasn't exactly a combative character. In fact, the only attack he'd made all game so far was a single shot from his crossbow, and uh, it hit the party's cleric. The half-orc barbarian Grog jumped from the loft and started to bash and slash the guards mercilessly. Fudwick cast Suggest on who he thought was the captain and ordered him to protect Fudwick, and then ran for safety. Once he was in a safe place, he started to strum a beautiful song about courage and battle and barns and adventure. After a well-fought battle, all the enemies had fallen, and the party was free to explore the dungeon beneath where Fudwick had just been. And their adventure went on, and eventually, when it finally came to pass, Fudwick ended up being one of two survivors of the adventure, the other one being the Half-Orc. So that's just a fun story from my first ever D&D game. I'd love to hear the stories from the games that you guys have. It's one of my favorite things about D&D is how many really cool stories come out of it and fun adventures and narratives. Last week I posed a question of how to solve a riddle combat puzzle where there were a bunch of skeletons who were exploding and getting back together and then there was the trap orb and there were a lot of really good suggestions like, like grappling the skeletons and pushing them into the orb or melting the sand down to trap the skeletons to immobilize them. The first one of those was really, really close to the intended solution, but like I said, there were many solutions, so almost every suggestion given could have worked. The intended solution lies in the importance of the one round that they spend as just bones on the ground. What you do is you pick up a pile of those bones, about half, and put them into the orb. That way the skeleton can't reform again and just remains as a pile of harmless bones. Once all of them are dealt with, then it's pretty easy to extricate the party members who were caught in the trap from it. If you have a suggestion for what you'd like to hear me talk about, go ahead and leave it in the comments, and you can click here to subscribe. Thanks!